Hey guys, what is up and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ritwik. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. And if you're not new here, thank you so much for coming back. I fucking love you. So recently I went on like a week long trip to Goa with my friends and one of the days like I kind of like split away from the group and had like a little solo date with myself. And there is this like cute like this cute ass bookstore in goa in kalangut area which is called literati it's actually a bookstore plus cafe but the cafe but like the cafe portion of it is closed right now i went there on my like, on my like solo date and i shopped around it like if you want to see like the full montage go and check out like the episode three of my goa diaries and so i decided to why not make like a book haul like a quick little mini book haul of the books i got from there all of these books are second hand books but although like i got four books three of them they don't look second hand books in the bookstore over there they had two rooms one room was like new books and they were sold at mrp and i like it does not sit right with me i can never for my life buy new books at mrp because a amazon and b like my bookseller like my favorite bookseller in pune solanki booksellers in camp he offers like a 30 percent discount on average on every book it's just not it just does not fit right with me to buy new books at mrp so i kind of like dug my way through every single book in the second hand slash used book room in the bookstore so these are the few finds which i found interesting the second hand book like or like the used book or whatever you want to call it that section of the bookstore it was like 50 rupees for any paperback and 150 rupees for any hardback or hardcover book so it was a it was like such a good steal i was i had already spent a lot of money on other things in goa and i did not have that much suitcase or like i did not have that much baggage space left so i just got four books and let's do the haul so so the first book is the songs by charles elton here is the cover this is one of those books like it does not look like a used book at all because it's just like in such a good condition i have another book from charles elton which is mr top it i have not read it it's just sitting on my bookshelf i am planning to read it the plot of this book sounded like very nice to me and charles elton i feel like these Charles Elton's books are like supposed to be like light-hearted and funny but just have some sort of like mystery and like thrilling aspect to it I think so. So this book is about Is Herzl, I don't know how to say the name, he has two kids like their relationship between like the father and uh, not spouse like offspring relationship is not that good and he also like tries to ignore like the existence of his other son from a previous wife and like all of them come together and like it's over, written over here as the scattered children of his herzl begin to converge the ambiguities at the heart of their father's life start to surface in a way that will change them all it's different it was for 50 rupees and so those are the two reasons why i got it let's move on to the next book I am like a huge fan of thriller books, mystery novels and crime things. I and like one of the most famous like thriller mystery novels is Gone Girl by Gillian Gillian. I am sorry, Flynn. Gillian Gillian Flynn. I don't know, I'm sorry, I should know that. And this is one of those books which I've been wanting to get for a long time, but it is just like uh, it may it may sound like judgmental or bad if you will but it just does not I cannot like make myself to spend like new book money on books like these so I saw it for 50 rupees and that's why I like got it like without second thought this book is about Nick Dunn who finds himself asking on the morning of his fifth wedding anniversary like who are you and what have we done to each other because his wife Amy suddenly disappears and the police suspect Nick and Amy's friends reveal that she Amy was afraid of Nick it's just like a thriller mystery like what happened to Nick's wife like what happened to Amy a review on the back of it says Gone Girl is a book you'll be begging other people to read just so you can discuss with, with them so I am sensing there's like a huge plot twist or like a huge mystery to like a huge mystery in the book so i'm really excited to read this 
the next book is the little stranger by sarah waters this is i guess a horror book which is like a completely uncharted territory for me like i've never read a horror book let's read the blurb on the bag in the dusty post war summer in rural warwickshire a doctor is called to a patient at lonely hundreds hall home to the aries family for over two centuries the georgian house once grand and handsome is now in decline its masonry crumbling its gardens choked with weeds the clock in its stable yard stable yard permanently fixed at 20 to 9 its owners mother son and daughter are struggling to keep pace with the changing society as well as with conflicts of their own but are the Aries haunted by something more sinister than a dying way of life prepare yourself from this wonderful writer who continues to astonish us comes a chilling ghost story it's like a very big book it's bigger than my face it was for 50 rupees at like you don't get books this big at 50 rupees so that is like one of like the driving factors which kind of like like provoked me to buy this book and let's go on to the last book which is a man with one of those faces by it's an irish name i don't know how to pronounce it i think so it's keith mcdonald but like this is a spelling i am so sorry if i can't pronounce it but this book is about like a this book is also like a thrilling mystery type of stuff but i think so it's like a bit light-hearted like it's not dark if you will so the blurb on the back says like the first time somebody tried to kill him it was an accident the second time it was deliberate now paul mulcrone i'm sorry if this is an irish surname then i am butchering it very very badly M but it spells m-u-l-c-h-r-o-n-e so in like typical like american pronunciation it would be mulcrone now paul finds himself on the run with nobody to turn to except a nurse who has read one too many crime novels and a renegade copper pension for violence together they must solve one of the most notorious crimes in irish history or else they will be history that sounds amazing i really like such like fast-paced like like crime thrillers if you will where like it kind of like reminds me of like a dan brown type of novel where something is going to happen and someone has to solve it but like things are happening or it's like they have like a limited time frame that like i really like that format of novels so i'm really excited to read this but i if that if if it's like full of like irish names it's gonna be very difficult for me to just like keep my mind together because i don't do very well with like different types of english like i read a christmas carol back in december the english was like old english and it literally like kind of like rotted my mind because i was reading the same paragraph like twice thrice multiple times just to understand what was being said okay i don't know where the video got cut off but i am just gonna say it right now like if the reading experience of this just because of the irish names is bad for me i will be like this will be the first book of life i will dnf which stands for did not finish anyways those are all the books which i got from the cutest like the cutest little go on bookstore ever yeah next time i go to goa i'm definitely gonna keep like a lot of space in my bag just to get more books because 50 rupees for a used paperback oh my god that's so fucking cheap and if anybody is from pune and anybody knows like where i can get like 50 rupees paperbacks used on just like antique books please let me know i will be the first person to purchase like the entire stock and that is it for this video by the time you guys are watching this i may or may not have finished filming reading only colleen hoover books for an entire week video so stay tuned for that and yeah if you like this video give it a big thumbs up comment down below anything you want and subscribe to the channel for more videos i am slowly running out of like book video ideas rather than, other than just like monthly reading wrap ups and kind of like reading vlogs if you have any concepts on book videos so let me know them down in the comments below and yeah subscribe i will see you very very soon and bye